All right, everyone, here we go. Overview reading from March 2024. All signs, doesn't matter what your sign is. It's straight up energy reading. It's just, did, you, did you read my write-up on March? I mean, it's, it's a month I'm looking forward to pulling on. Okay. Don't mind my hands if they're a little dirty. I was working on the car earlier. Um, that's, <laughs> that said, I got a pre-shuffle here. It's pretty straightforward. This is going to be a fun month. To pull. It's going to be a very interesting Zodiac fly-through. I don't know how it's not going to be roses and rainbows, but it might surprise me. I don't know. I'll do my best to dig for the truth. Anyway, let's get rolling. March 2024. General reading may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Terry, you're here for a reason. You'll probably be glad you're here with this pre-shuffle. And I'm not a fucking time lord. This might happen in April for some of you, for all I fucking know. But I'm pulling on March. A lot of equinox energy here. A lot of all kinds of things here. Everything I wrote about. Jupiter doing its thing uh, quite a bit in March. Okay, so I asked the universe, give me the soulmate cycle. Right? For March 2024. What do you got? Surface energy. You. The Empress. And also Empress energy. Feminine energies within each of us. Very high here in March. It has to. That's where some of the magic lives. Emotion, right? The magic is always in the emotion. Uh, but anyway, here's you. It's crossed by the Page of Swords. You are being watched, big time. I always talk about that. I used to say all the time when I first came out here. These little barn owls. If you take walks in your neighborhood, you have no idea, but they're there. They're a pretty common owl, especially in even in city environments. That said, you're being watched, big time. Or somebody, and that could be somebody just really feeling you and thinking about you a lot, all that kind of stuff. But for some of you, it's a little creepy. I won't lie to you. It's, it's someone really focused on you. Underneath that, it's someone who didn't want you before. The Four of Cups, somebody who did nothing. The Four of Swords, and there's your chariot bookending the Empress. You look like a sirloin steak to a fucking steak lover. I mean, it's, it's a simple pre-shuffle. It's simple energy to read. It's really straightforward. Someone's got their eye and their heart on you. And, uh, you know, they didn't want you before. They never did much. And there, there you go. This could be a new soulmate. Could be a long lost runner. Everybody very emotional. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a very interesting month. I will tell you. I've been looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to April, too. All right, let's shuffle the deck. First card outs before the cut. That's why the fuck are we here? This is going to be the easiest reading I ever pulled. But I'm going to dig for some truth here. Because, you know, I mean, it's never that cut and dry, is it? I don't know. Whatever. Here we go. Shuffle the... Whoa. Okay. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you're going to do this to me, aren't you? All right. Uh Universe wasn't with me when I was working on my car, man. I was I had the forces of the universe against me on that one today. But I'll tell you what, there you go. Star. The universe is here with us, I'll tell you. Yeah, something again, some you're about to get a wish. Something's about to happen here. Something that's been delayed, maybe till somebody pulled their head out of their ass. I don't know. It's very powerful. The star in this context does imply that a tower has happened for somebody. I uh, will tell you that. Um, what comes after the cut? Oh, I don't even want to look. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, we froze. Oh, okay. Well, then you don't know what the card is. I do. It'll be on your screen in about two seconds. Hold on. A lot of energy here. Holy crap. Ace of Cups. That's what it is. There. Now you can see it. I suppose I could have told you, but it's an Ace of Cups. It came after the cut. I mean... It's been held up for a while, but this is a flowing Ace of Cups. I told you, feminine energies are high, even on the DM side. Uh, okay. All right. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's do a reading. All right. Someone's about to tell you how they feel. Could be somebody new. Could be a long-lost runner. It's going to vary for all of you. But I don't know. I'm curious your reaction to it. Because there's a weird wobble in your energy that's here. you know. Because your energy's here with me when I pull the readings. It's, I call it the static energy that's here with me. There's a bit of a wobble in it. So I think for some of you, it might be a, a little a little mushier than what you're used to from this kind of person. Even though you, most of you are the DFs. I don't know. And we'll see. We'll see what comes out here in the reading. Give me a reading, universe. Give me the soulmate cycle from March 20. 24. Overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table. Jesus. Already had a freeze up. 
And it's always in the same spot. The energy starts to swirl around the cut cards or around here. Um, oh, sorry, it's in Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Again, tied to the, this card crosses the star in my reading. The overall energy crosses the card before the cut. So again, my read on the star is accurate. It's something that's been held up until somebody pulled their head out of their ass for what, what, whatever that means specifically in your situation. Uh, this is grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. Uh, it's underneath that, fueling it, is a nine of wands. Nine, it's the nines of the end in tarot kind of energy here. Uh, there's, it's been blocked, but grandma's pulling in the damn parking lot. Okay, all right. For a lot of you, I won't lie to you. I would never do that. For, for, a, for a lot of you, this is a new soulmate with that Ace of Cups there. That's a very strong energy I'm picking up. All right, our reading's on the flip. It's right here on the top of the deck. Right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how this person, whoever the fuck this is, is behaving in the 3D in real life. Right here's their soul, the hidden energy, message from the universe, red with the energy connection. Right here's potential final outcome, red with the 3D energies. I will clarify everything through some universe cards at the end. You bet your sweet asses I'm going to extend this. I am, because your energy is wobbling. What is that? I don't know. Okay. I don't care. We'll find out. Anyway, what's the energy around your connection? Queen of Swords, you're about to get some truth. You're about to find something out. I think for a lot of you, there is a conversation about to happen, and it's going to be sort of a, what? You know, it's, a, it's as though you, you it's, it's as though, hmm, it's almost like a, it's, it's not so much a what, it's more of a no duh kind of a thing. It's more of a you were right about something. All right, you've been right all along, whatever. I don't know. But uh, there's a conversation, there's a big, big communication energy around this here. Um, I don't want to say it's a little cold. The Queen of Swords can be a little cold. I don't get any chill off of this. I, it, I know that's a snowy owl. They live, you know, pretty far north. Um, but I think he flew down south a little bit. It's not that cold. I won't lie. It's not that cold. Uh, uh, what's the 3D energies around this incoming energy? Yeah, justice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody wants, uh, somebody knows what they want. Somebody's taking care of business on their side. A tower has happened at some point with that star card that was one of the energies attached to it. Um, yeah, the black cat and the white cat are about to have a conversation. I can say that, my little saying sometimes when this comes out. Wow. Okay. I can't wait to clarify this motherfucker. We're, we're doing the witches, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, if, we, if we weren't, we would be. Um, soul energy. Their soul energy is here. Now, March is an interesting month with all that feminine energy coming up. What's, it's red with the Queen of Swords. I said that's not cold. It's not cold. Look, I got my tequila sunrise energy here. That's what I call it when I just pick up on the color more than anything else. My tequila sunrise thing. Right? I picture myself at a, at a bar down in the Caribbean or something, sipping, watching the sun. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's, it's somebody's very emotional. It's, it is. It's red with the Queen of Swords. I wasn't making it up. It's not cold like it usually is. It's just about truth. Somebody's just, I think it blows your fucking mind, probably. Uh, if this is a new soulmate, you're surprised that this person even notices you. Kind of an energy, just as an example. Um, this is uh, the flow of emotion here. But somebody here, this energy flows from here to here, 5D to 3D. Somebody's taking care of business with a third energy on their side. You're not sharing soul space with anyone right now with this. Hmm. Somebody's made some changes in their life. They've made some changes. Okay. All right. Uh, hidden energy message from the universe. What's the fickle old gal want to tell us here? It's red with the queen of swords, I believe. Eh, ten swords, yeah. I'm not, I'm not... Yeah, I think something you thought was over isn't over. Yeah, that energy is attached to that here, but somebody is speaking some truths here. You have an energy coming toward you that's very much in their feminine side for a change. It's very different. This leads to a new beginning. What's the potential final outcome? This is going to be one for the clarifiers. you got to be fucking kidding me. Potential final outcome, Ace of Cups coming back. You're about to find out how somebody feels. I mean, it's cut and dry. It's been cut and dry since the fucking pre-shuffle. It's not surprising. Go read my write-up on March. You know, there's a lot of... I don't like using the word because it's a bunch of hocus-pocus, but there's a lot of magic. 
in March. Youthful exuberance, I think I called it in the write-up. It is. Somebody here feeling feeling themselves, feeling good. And I don't mean that in a dirty way. They might be with all that spying and thinking about you. They might be feeling themselves in different ways, but wow. And this is really justice for you in the end, too, that this cup is flowing. I think you were right about something or something. Maybe this, if it's a new person, which it is for a good percentage of you, you suspected kind of a thing. This is, this is nice. Let's talk to the witches. Okay. Queen of Swords, tell me about it. I knew it wasn't cold. It's not. We got a lot of coldish cards here, and then we get in the final outcome some color and some color in the soul here. My tequila sunrise energy. I like that. All right. Why is the uh, Queen of Swords here? Tell me about the Queen of Swords. All right. Let's see where we go. Okay. I'm going to shuffle all day. Is that what I'm doing? Two of Wands. Somebody has... With, when the Two of Wands crosses the, uh, a card like the Queen of Swords, somebody has set the intention, but they're hell-bent on coming forward. They're hell-bent on it. It's not just a plan that they blow off. Very much in their emotions. Very much wanting to open up. A lot of truth is being spoken. It puts something to rest. Okay? When that truth is spoken. Or when you find this out, maybe you know you feel good about yourself. I don't know. It could be that. What's on top? Death. Yeah. It's red, it's red with the Ten of Swords, all of this. So, I mean, yeah. It's totally out of character. Totally different. Somebody's acting on a truth, and that truth involves the emotions they have for this soul connection, or the way they feel about you, you know. They may not know it's a soul connection yet if it's somebody new. For a lot of you, this is somebody new. Also, for a good number of you, this is a long lost run or something you thought was long dead, dead, done. It's not. Or, or, because I'm just reading energy for thousands of people. Based on my experience reading energy, I could say you meet someone new and they remind you of the runner, except this time it, it, it goes differently, right? The, the cup floweth over, all right? It's possible too. Okay, death card, why is it here? Nine of Wands. That's the card that's with our Ace of Pentacles. Same kind of energy here. Somebody's all done hiding from the sun. All done. This connection that you have Whatever this is, if it's a new person, if it's a runner, it's about to either boot up or get a reboot. Big time. Big time. Let's talk about the black cat and the white cat. Justice, why is it here? I like it when that energy comes out. That's a perfect spot for it, too. What's going on here? Why is justice in this energy's, incoming energy's 3D life, in their world, in their house? Why is justice here? Definitely some emotions here. Somebody definitely. I, I don't think they know how to respond to all this emotion, but they like it. Okay. Justice. Why is it here? All right. Page of Swords. I'm all done spying. I'm all done being disappointed with my life. I'm all done. Pay attention to readings that have come before this. You know all of my readings tie together. We're just following the flow of the energy. And we know somebody here, just, they're just done. They're done being disappointed, done feeling small. Somebody here, when the emotions come up, they just, it's, it's not enough. We need to do something. We need to take action. We need to, somebody here is just, yeah. Now, what's on top? Yeah. For a lot of you, it's a marriage or a relationship that they're in. Bye-bye. Somebody's all done. Very disappointing to them. They're disappointed in themselves. They're, they're spying on you. That energy is there. That makes them happy to do, but it's not enough. When spying's not enough, we got to do something. But these are long-term changes somebody's making here. I think it ties a lot to whatever reading I did where I said they, they say words that, that can't be taken back sort of a thing. A lot of that energy is kind of here, too. Why is a Hierophant here? Ten Swords. Yep. Yep. I mean, if this is a fucking marriage, if your person's married or in a relationship, that fucking thing is done. They, they fucking done. All right? I'll say it again. They fucking done. Uh, that's cut and dry. I mean, there are certain cards you need to call divorce. All right? I mean, the energy's already here. The cards are just pictures for you. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. But, 
Yeah, I mean, it, by the cards alone, something, something, somebody's changing some things. And you're tired of being disappointed, tired of feeling small, tired of hiding from the sun. I get it. Let's talk about Tequila Sunrise here. Three of Cups, very emotional. The emotions are flowing, and it's all flowing your way. You see the sun here? This card is red with this card over here. These cards over here, there's the sun. I said, somebody done hiding from it. Yeah. I mean, when I look at this card, I get a peaceful, easy feeling. All right? I get a, I get a, I'm sitting on a beach at a little bar on the beach, just drinking a tequila sunrise, you know, not worried about anything, just enjoying it, taking it in. That's, that's the way it is. I think they like this flow of emotion. I don't think they know how to respond to it or they're not used to it. Why is the Three of Cups here? Oh, March, March. Damn it, man, these, these the Zodiac fly-through, which I'll start probably tomorrow, I'll try. Uh, I wanna get them done before the end of the month. Um, all bets are off, I don't know how they're gonna go when I split this into 12 separate readings. Wow, all right. Remember, watch them all because I'm not your fucking astrologer. It's just like I do with the weekly reading, except it's 12 readings instead of 12 cards. All right, let's go. Three of Cups. Come on, I don't want to shuffle all damn day. What the hell? I got to keep shuffling until, you know, I can't shuffle anymore. And it's, yeah, it's crossed by the Seven of Cups. Suddenly the world is this person's oyster. And, and I think it's a saying. I know I get people here from all over the world. They're like, what, what, what the hell does that mean? Uh, suddenly the world is wide open. Wide open road in front of them. And I say that because of this shit. Somebody here putting an end to something long term on their side. Now if they're single, it could just be the way they've been living. Right? Single people tend to tell themselves, oh I'm going to be single forever. I'm going to be this and that. I remember my dad had a friend when I was a kid. One of his friends that he hung out with was a guy named Bob Cooley. And Bob used to have a roommate, Dave. I don't remember his last name. But Bob and Dave were always, we're going to be single forever. Nah, we're never getting married like your mom and dad. They used to tell me all the time. Five years later, they were both married with kids and, you know, off on their own kind of a thing. So, so single people sometimes reach a point, even if, the, if they want to be bachelors forever, they might say that, but deep down we all crave that that those feelings the emotions the love companionship things along those lines i get a little bit of that here okay if your person's single all right so in other words if they were a a player they don't want to be a player anymore right? if they're in a marriage or relationship yeah they suddenly feel like the world is wide open to them they got choices now they got options and you're definitely one of them what's on top queen of swords these cards are red with these cards. That's a queen of swords. There's a queen of swords. Yeah. Backing up my energy read. There's no cold. There's no coldness to the queen of swords. It's a truth that they're acting on. All right. Um, they got something maybe that they want to clear up with you. Maybe there's some confusion about something you think or they think. Or there's some misconceptions because there's still a few clouds here in the witches. Okay. But... Why is the Queen of Swords here? Uh, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, back. I read the energy first, then I throw the cards. I felt that. Why did I pick this up? I could have just left it and said, see, it's not cold. But also, there's some, some kind of misunderstanding. It's a misunderstanding type energy on this Seven of Swords. Or it could also be read, it might play out for some of you, that this person comes in and... You miss. They say something, and you might misunderstand it, which is possible in this in this energy, especially with Mercury going through Pisces part of the month, right? We talked about that in the Mercury reading. Either way, yeah. Wow. All right. It's communication all over this fucking thing. Okay, let's talk to the fickle old gal universe. Tell me about the Ten of Swords here. This Ten of Swords. I don't think it ties to to that to this one. That's a separate message. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in this case here. Um, I get sort of a feeling, I translate feelings into words, so I'm not going to say I get th this is what they might be saying or something. I get sort of this should have never let it go sort of a thing. So, or should have never let you go, or should have, if it's somebody new, that it might reflect in them saying or thinking something like, 
should have done this sooner or should have, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda kind of energy. It's like a guilt type thing attached to that a little bit, okay? Ten swords. Why is it here? Card flew out and I just rolled over it. Um, yeah, it backs up. It flew out. It landed on the floor and I just rolled over it with my chair. So it's got a nice little tear in it now. Um, the uh, hangman. Yeah. Uh, what I said about the guilt thing there about, yeah. Again, I riff on the energy while I shuffle. So, yeah. Yeah, they... Uh, Somebody here feels like, why didn't I do this? Why? Why? Why did I let it get to this point? Why? You know, again, that's part of the disappointment that's over here. Why is the hangman? Why was the hangman under my chair? Yeah. See, I am making this shit up. It's five of cups. Yeah. I'm spot on. It's not easy to read for thousands of people. I will tell you, it's taken me some time to get used to it, but I've been out here long enough now that I kind of know how to phrase things that might work for a wide number of people. Just look at the picture, you know. There's some guilt here, a little bit, you know. Stayed with these three broken cups for a long time, whether they're single or in a relationship. Two cups standing, yeah. Somebody here definitely doing something for sure. Tired of hiding from the sun, mm-hmm. All of that's there. Um, Want to prevent this from being over? Yeah, I get it. Uh, Ace of Cups. Final outcome is the Ace of Cups, which was the card after the cut. Mm-hmm. All right. For some of you, this is a new love, and it is flowing. It flows both ways. If it's a runner, I think you might be. I think that little wobble I'm picking up is your surprise that this person is saying what they're saying. I, I can, remember, the feminine energies are high, so usually they're out of balance, mostly on the masculine side. You know, so okay. They're a little out of balance, mostly on the feminine side. Mm. So it might blow your mind a little bit. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace? What's the final? <laughs> this. Listen, listen to what I said about some of you might be just like blown away. Like what the fuck is going on here? Like that. It's crossed by the Burger King. It's crossed by the King of Wands. Yeah. Um. The, it's that energy I talked about where the, the energy from the soul gets to the brain, but it bypasses the heart chakra a little bit. So it's just, their, their, their head's about to explode here. This cup's about to explode, okay? This is, a, this is someone passionately, passionately revealing feelings for you, okay? Passionately. And I think for some of you, it might surprise you. Didn't you say we couldn't be together? I mean, whatever, things like that. Of way out of what's what's on top? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Mm. Someone's gotten real about their feelings. Again, it's a lot of they're very attracted to you. If this is somebody new, which it is for a percentage of you, this could get hot. Okay, we got in this context, this could get very hot. You know, you might bang on the first date. Might not even have a first date. But if it's a runner, why is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, the Four of Wands. Somebody here is revealing some truths for sure. I got Queen of Swords too much about the truths. Revealing some truths about their life. You're probably going to find out that something superficial for them, you know, because these two, the King and Queen of Wands, would never reveal feelings. This would be a stopped cup, but it's a flowing cup. With this Four of Wands here, something's over. This is red. The Four of Wands is red with the Ten of Swords. Some, something to do with the structure of their life has come to an end. I can smell a tower here. Like I said, I have since the star card. Uh, you, they may reveal that to you. They're going to reveal a lot more than they normally would. I'll tell you. Why? Because this king, and I wanted to look, is queen, uh, it's the uh, page of pentacles, has learned some lessons here. Definitely learned some lessons. Wow. Okay. All right. So I would, listen, read my write-up on the month. I don't. I don't think I did it justice, and I thought I did a decent job. Uh, okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting energy. Let's pull three cards from the bottom and a crossing card. See what else the universe wants to tell you. What else you want to tell everybody? Before I go pull some wicked voodoo, I gotta see what happened here. Where's the tower at? We're looking for a tower. We're not looking for a devil, which is rare for an extended. We're looking for a tower. 
looking for what some it's here I can smell it all right what else you want to tell everybody hmm what else five of swords eight of swords and the uh, Knight of Pentacles. I almost said page. It's it's but okay, I get that. Knight of Pentacles and it's crossed. Oh, there it is. There's the page. That's what I almost I didn't know that was there. I didn't know. Uh, I said I almost felt that as a page, but there's our page of pentacles right there. It's crossed by the uh it's crossing the eight of swords in the base energy. The five of swords is red with the knight of pentacles. This is a message for you. Try not to question too much of what's going on. March is about youthful exuberance coming back. There's a, a, a zest for life that kind of returns. Uh, you want to kind of temper it with your inner grown-up a little bit. Especially some of you have an inner police officer. Police officers tend to be a little bit cynical, which can be good or bad depending on their intelligence level. Cynicism requires a high level of intelligence to balance out, otherwise you do stupid shit, right? You just start doubting everything, you know. Um, at the end of the, which isn't necessarily good. You question things. You don't necessarily just put them in the aha, I know that kind of column. Anyway, try not to prejudge what's going on here, okay? What's happening here, don't overthink it. Don't shoot yourself in the foot, right? Don't. There's an energy coming towards you here that's coming to teach you something. That's why I almost read this as a, as a page of pentacles, right? So there's a lesson in this. There's something you find out that benefits you in some way here. Even if it's a new soulmate and you're not interested in that person, you still get something from it. Something enhances your energy. Something makes you feel really good. All right. So try not to overthink it. Don't get in eight swords in this energy. You will shoot yourself in the foot. Um, underneath this page is a hierophant because something very big is brewing here under the surface. Something very big. And it's been big right from the pre-shuffle, to be honest with you. All right? That's your reading. That's your overview for March anyway. Tomorrow, I'm going to start the fly-through of the Zodiac. I'll try to do it within a couple of days, like I always do, round out the month. I don't know where those readings are going to go. It's going to be very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I'm going probably going to have to dig for things like Seven Swords and stuff. But we'll see. All right? Right now, if you want the extended, this is probably the only one that's going to be extended for the Zodiac fly-through. I'm not going to, I generally don't extend those. I, I have the option, but I, I generally don't. Um, so if you want the extended, the link is in the description. Um, should be interesting. We'll find out what the fuck's going on here because somebody making some big fucking changes. Big fucking changes. Putting an end to some stuff with justice underneath that too. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.